We all know that scheduling an appointment for a COVID-19 vaccine can be an exhausting process. But two Montgomery County High School students have developed a new website specifically designed to help notify county residents when and where vaccines are available. Adam Letterer and Nicholas Fedig have been friends since they were students at Argyle Middle School. Uh, I believe we had an innovative minds class together, which is just an engineering class, um, something we both took uh, together. And we did a project in that class. We, uh, we got to know each other and that friendship continued on to eighth grade where we got into more like computer science based classes, learning Java, um, web development, stuff like that. As Nicholas moved on to Wheaton High School and Adam to Clarksburg High, they remained friends and continued to work on projects together. They heard about how people were having difficulty scheduling vaccine appointments. So they decided to put their tech skills to use to help folks get information on available appointments. So basically how it works is whenever there's like an update uh, throughout different websites, uh, our program basically goes to the uh, different web pages, such so as CVS, Walgreens, etc. And they actually grabs the information we need, sends it back over to our web page, and then processes that to then display on the screen. Mocovax has been up and running for less than two weeks and already has close to 100,000 unique users. Um, they said, thank you guys so much. Using your website, I was able to get my dad a vaccine after trying for two weeks. And so we're glad that we're able to fill the void and give them, give them the opportunity to get the vaccines that they need. The site is lightning fast, updating information every 100 milliseconds. Oh, there you go. So yeah, this is what it would look like. Wow. You don't have to sign up like a million things or put your email, text message, all of it's available to anyone. We wanted to make it very accessible and we thought that, that we thought that, that was really important to make it accessible. And so it was all centralized in one place for anyone. And so people could just go to the website and if they're in need of a vaccine, hopefully within the next half an hour, they can find a vaccine that easily. So we just need to fill in all of this and click schedule it. They've also set up an Instagram where they are connecting with young people who are trying to find appointments for their older family members. Through this COVID pandemic that we find ourselves in, government can't do it alone. And so many people have stepped up and said, how do I do my part to make sure that I'm helping my community, that I'm helping my fellow man to make sure that I can contribute. And all of these things have created this call, uh, but also an awareness uh, amongst the many of our young people who have grown very passionate about what it is that they need to do to continue to make sure that they have an even better society. Just this week, they expanded their site to Howard County at the request of one of their friends. The pair does all of this work in their free time when they are not busy with their studies. Me personally, so I'm managing the monitor five hours per day. It takes a lot of updates and stuff to keep up with the websites. Councilmember Nancy Navarro serves on the Education Committee. She sent a message congratulating the pair on their good work. For using your incredible talent to help our residents navigate the vaccination process through your awesome website, Mocovax. You are what makes our county special. That's pretty nice. That's very nice. Yeah, yeah that's super nice. Yeah. Both young men say they appreciate the work of the government in its efforts to vaccinate the community and sees this website as just another tool in the toolbox. In my opinion, there's been a lot of comments about how, you know, the government can't like do a lot. But personally, in my opinion, I feel like they've done a lot, uh, at least, you know, uh, they're trying their best. And I just decided to do this one favor and uh, help them out a tiny bit if that's what you consider it. It feels really good, but I think I, I feel really good helping our teachers. And we've had plenty of teachers reached out to us through our Instagram or even our past teachers, like through email, telling us that they were able to get a vaccine because of us. And it feels really good to be able to do that. It feels good to give back to the community. You can see the good work of Nicholas and Adam by visiting mocovax.com. Reporting from Clarksburg, I'm Susan Kennedy.